Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at ways that you can better secure your iCloud account. So recent news has highlighted the need for securing your iCloud account. And there are several very simple things that you can do to improve security. Let's take a look at some tips. First, there's a need for strong passwords. Now, in this particular story, the Wired Reporter having their iCloud account hacked, the password strength wasn't a factor. But it is in a lot of different break-ins into different accounts. So you want to make sure you have a strong password. For more information about what a strong password is and how to create one, go to my special guide that's been there for a while, the MacMost Guide to Online Password Security, and check that out there. Now, the way the reporter's iCloud account was hacked was that the hacker had the last four digits of his credit card and then used those to confirm ID over the phone to Apple and get the account changed. Now Apple's plugged that hole but what you can do now is still of course use security questions. And security questions are things like for instance uh, the name of your hometown or what did you study in college or what was your first job. And these are really easy to guess. I mean, think about how brute force password attacks work, right? Just the most commonly used passwords are used and applied to all sorts of different accounts. Well, there are tons of dictionary words that can be used in a brute force password attack, but much fewer that can be used to answer a lot of these questions, like what's your lucky number, right? How many people have seven or eight or three or something as their lucky number? Uh, what's uh, the name of your hometown? very common hometowns of course are used. So using any of these questions and answering it is not a very secure way to protect your account. What's better is to use the what is your secret word question or simply write your own security question and then something similar to what is your secret word and then is the answer have completely random words. Just a completely random phrase from something. Pick some words out at random from a book for instance and come up with something like you know uh, purple bench lamppost and then put that as your answer. Now no one's going to be able to guess that. Problem with this technique, of course, is you might forget it as well. So it's important to put it in a secure place like some sort of program like one password that'll securely store those types of passwords or simply write it down on a piece of paper and put it somewhere in your house where you know you can find it but it's not easy for anybody else to find. That way in the future, like three years from now, if you forget your iCloud password you can dig out that piece of paper, know what this security question is and use it to restore your account. But no hacker is going to be able to guess it. Now iCloud also lets you set an alternate email address. An email address from outside of iCloud that you can use if you lose your password. That way they can send a password reset to that other email account. So it's important to realize that then your iCloud account is only as secure as that alternate account is. So if that alternate account is a email address on another service and that password is easily guessable or you have weak security questions there, well then your iCloud account can be compromised just as easily as that other account. So make sure that the other account is very secure as well with good strong passwords and strong security question answers. Now if you're using Gmail as that alternate account, Gmail has a great system called two-factor authentication. You turn that on in the account and it makes it much harder for that account to be broken into. So using iCloud as your main account and then having the alternate address being Gmail and having that Gmail account being protected by two-factor authentication is a good way to set it up. Another important thing is of course to have a backup. The reporter that had the problem, if he had a backup, could have avoided a lot of grief. So make sure you have a backup. It's not just good for this kind of situation. It's also if your hard drive fails or if your machine gets stolen. Uh, all sorts of things. Make sure you have a backup. It's the most important thing. So there you go. To run it down you have to have strong passwords for your iCloud account. You need to have strong security questions and answers. Not just the default ones with common hometown names and favorite colors things like that. You need to make sure that any email accounts linked as an alternate email to your iCloud account have similar strong measures, strong passwords, strong security questions, and you want to make sure you have a backup. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.